Hey, this is Grandpa. Welcome to Grandpa's World. Today we're going to talk about Henry again. Those people that wanted to, me to talk more about him, well, first of all, Henry's not his real name. As you all know, I changed names. He doesn't want anybody to know that stories came from him. That being said, he tells about another abduction. This one was when he was in his early 20s. Henry had taken his lunch break and was going back to work when a tall man approached him. Henry had seen this person around town, he had dark eyes, and asked Henry to get in the car with him. Henry felt like it was a surreal moment for him, like he was being hypnotized, so he got in the car. They drove to a spaceship, so Henry got out of his car and just walked up to the craft, where he just rose into the ship. He was shown the pilot's cabin, it was very roomy, and lit up. Lit, excuse me, lit up. There was an instrument panel and he went and sat down on a chair in the corner. He could see through the window that the earth was getting smaller. Once they reached the mothership, he could see hundreds of people walking around. They were all wearing silvery blue outfits and silvery red outfits. And they were all one piece. Some of the aliens talked telepathically told him, to him and told him that they needed to cultivate and experiment with the earth and they needed to crossbreed and that they have been living on Earth since 1946, and they weren't the only other alien. There was other alien tribes there too. Their mission is to collect all kinds of specimens and plants and humans. They were also told that their lifespan is shorter here on Earth, so they never stay for more than a month at a time. He was taken back to a smaller craft, and all it just took him three hours. Well. That was it for Grandpa's World today. We'll see you later.